be a better way of putting it. What are we willing to give the Father in exchange for those who are in God's care? What are we willing to say, this is a little bit miserable, but it's for God. How many of us sit and look at the church and look around us and say, this is who we are. What do we give? What do we share? Does that become just a, a statement of belief? Or does it take up a new life within us? We see that, aren't we? In the first reading as well. Giving one's life, taking the Spirit, allowing the Spirit to touch us and to those that we are in need, and to be one due to the Spirit's presence. Not when we are part of that, but in all things, in all of those messages, in all of those things that are part of our life. All of us today, and I'm not saying this because of any particulars, all of us give up those things in our life take on the glory of God. They keep reminding us, and I hope we keep hearing it, to take up one's cross. It's not easy being Catholic. It's not easy being Christian. God gives us those moments that we don't realize are down the road, that we are doing things that we never thought we might do, or we are a part of the wonder of the glory that's there, and we can go to God and say, we've got problems, I've got problems, a relative has problems. A couple days ago, I was sitting back and just going through paperwork, trying to clean my room a little bit. So please pray. But I found that probably a best way of putting it is a, a set of papers dealing with Solanus. And it says, make sure you pray before you receive what God gives. It's a sort of what he says, to be one with God. And I read through that, I started reading through it, that said over and over again, trust in God. Be one with God. Know that God will give you what you give before you even ask for it. So pray that we in our need may be able to go to God as he did. And be one in spirit, but also what's in God's presence. Amen.